go out to eat, some of the easy ways to make sure we work within those parameters are to stick with the simple basics. We still want to have the same four components of a good meal. We want to pick a lean protein, pick some sort of veggie or fruit, pick a good quality carbohydrate, and pick a quality performance or healthy fat. Also looking at the way things are cooked is important. So avoiding things that are fried is a great way to limit some of that saturated and trans fat, which have been proven to not help somebody's health. So if you can limit those, and then you can also limit some of the alcohol, and if you are gonna drink alcohol, then drink the alcohol that has less sugar mixed into it to at least avoid some of that and the extra calories that are unnecessary. And then limiting some of the desserts and maybe only having a dessert to share or working on the portion size of the dessert. One of the biggest facts that a lot of our athletes and clients don't know is when you go to a restaurant, that dinner plate that they're using is usually about four inches wider in diameter than a normal dinner plate you'll use at home. A normal dinner plate at home is eight to 10 inches and a normal restaurant dinner plate is usually 12 or more inches. So when you see that whole plate full of food, you may think, oh, this is the same as the portion I'm eating at home. It's not. Nine times out of 10, it is quite a larger portion, which leads to excess calories and maybe not working towards your goal. So an easy way to help that is, as soon as the meal comes out, you can immediately kind of separate the food on your plate. Or I know people who will actually ask them to please bag half of it, save that for later on, another meal or another time, and then they'll eat the other half of the food. That's one solution. Another solution would be to share that plate with a loved one, a family member, or somebody else you're eating with that will help you to make sure you're not overeating that portion. Or just be aware of what you're eating and know, hey, I'm going to eat this amount and it's a larger portion size than I'm used to. And be able to kind of adjust the rest of your day or the rest of your time off of that or decide this is worth it for you in that moment. Again, that goes back to there is no good or bad food. It is your personal decision to make that. However, there are some easy ways to limit that portion distortion is what they call it and allow you to understand, hey, I'm eating a larger plate. I do not need my entire plate to be covered. One of the other things we did was we went through and made easy, simple to follow menus for some of the different restaurants you may frequent that are convenience restaurants or fast food restaurants, whatever the correct term you want to use is. So we made some easy menus for you to use that when you are traveling on the road or you're going around to different places, this will allow you to make better food decisions some of the more common restaurants across the nation. These are things that will help you just to limit some of the calories that may not, again, help you towards your goal. So use these menus appropriately as you travel and go from place to place. So if you are on the road and you do need to stop somewhere, no problem. Eating out can be and should be an enjoyable experience and we can absolutely help you along the way to make the best food decisions possible to still work towards and reach your goals. Along those same principles, we've also created some of the different lists and menus to help you guys out when you go to a convenience store, a gas station, and other places. So when you have to make a quick stop, this will also help you know what you should be eating and what you shouldn't when you stop in these less than ideal situations and need to make a quick food stop, which happens to all of us.